Today's episode is brought to you by Artlist. What is up guys? Welcome to another one. Today I'm going to speak about the biggest mistakes that you can make when shooting cinematic b-roll. But before we get started, let's board the high-speed train and I will take you guys along to a really cool place here in Japan. Okay, one mistake I want to speak about is forgetting the establishing shot. Forgetting to include establishing shots in your b-roll is a pretty common mistake that I see a lot of people make that will really, really impact the quality of your footage. An establishing shot really helps your viewer to understand the scene and kind of establish of what is going on in your b-roll. If you forget to include that, then your viewer is quite likely to feel like confused and doesn't really know what's going on. And without them, your video can easily feel like very disjointed and even confusing. So make sure to always kick off with some establishing shots. Bike. So make sure to always, always include establishing shots to help your audience understand the setting the context, what is going on, who's kind of the main guy in the video, what's the main narrative. Now I'm gonna head over to the bamboo forest and try to get a couple of cool shots and then I'll see if I can find more sakura trees and obviously get more footage and bring you guys along. So let's go. When shooting cinematic video, it can be easy to focus solely on the main subject and neglecting to include people in your cinematic b-roll footage is a really common mistake that can really impact the quality of your video. So including people in your footage helps to create a connection and kind of emotional resonance with your audience. Whether it's you, another subject or people in the background, this will really help to bring human elements into your footage and create a more relatable and engaging experience. Wow! So you just have to overcome your own demons and just kind of approach somebody and ask for a portrait or something. It is not that difficult and the end result is so much better because it carries a certain level of emotion. It's getting a little bit loud here, so let's actually move to another place. What a beautiful park! Amazing. Look at that. Good morning, it is 6 a.m. and I'm on my way to one of the most touristy sites. Cherry Blossom is blooming all over the city, looks absolutely fantastic. <laughs> on a side note, I got a little lost and it's also quite cold actually. For springtime, it is very, very cold. Hopefully, I will get some really cool photos because it is a very popular spot. But let's hurry up and see what I can do. Watch out. Okay, I just made it here, but there are already quite a few people actually. Which surprises me. But it looks very cool. Wow. Now, a style of videography that was very popular a couple of years ago was doing these like, crazy whip transitions all over. However, that is something that I don't really recommend. It's one of the biggest mistakes in my opinion because it can really distract from your actual story. So don't focus on crazy transitions and effects and all of that stuff. Use that very thoughtfully and sparingly and only when it truly serves the story that you're trying to tell 
and this will ensure that your b-roll feels a lot more polished and professional and not overdone and cheesy so i will show you an example of a section of b-roll that uses that only sparingly and focuses more on static and clean shots and it looks a lot more professional Now one mistake that can really hinder the quality of your b-roll is focusing way too much on gear and not enough on the story you want to tell. It's super easy to get caught up in the latest and greatest like camera equipment or accessories but ultimately the gear you use is just a tool to help you tell your story and the most important aspect of your footage is the message you're trying to convey. So make sure you put that front and center when you're shooting and use your gear to support that story and not the other way around. This will help you to make things a lot more meaningful and impactful in the end. Now I found this really cool section of bamboo trees which I think not too many other people have noticed. So I'm gonna walk around here a little bit and see if I can get another cool shots without like too many people. Without exaggeration there's like a thousand people arriving at the spot right now. So I'm gonna be heading home, happy with the shots, I think. Now, when it comes to cinematic video, audio is often overlooked, but trust me, it is just as important as visuals. Not paying attention to audio can lead to kind of distracting background noise or poor quality sound, and that will kind of make your video feel super unprofessional no matter how amazing the visuals are. So make sure you always use an external microphone to record audio separately if possible and pay attention to the audio levels and adjust accordingly. And always keep an ear out for unwanted sounds or distractions. Remember, great audio can enhance the overall quality of your cinematic b-roll footage so don't forget to give it the attention it really deserves. Now Artlist is an all-in-one licensing platform that provides not only huge amount of assets like stock footage and this kind of stuff but also a vast library of high quality music tracks for filmmakers and video creators. The platform is particularly useful for cinematic b-roll as it offers a wide range of cinematic and atmospheric music tracks that can really enhance the mood and tone of your footage. With Artlist you can easily search for and license music tracks that fit the specific style and vibe of your project without having to worry about copyright issues. The platform also provides easy to use licensing options which allows you to use the music and assets in your projects without any additional fees or complications. Overall Artlist is a fantastic resource for filmmakers and video creators who want to elevate the quality of their cinematic b-roll footage with the perfect musical accompaniment. When you compare the pricing of Artlist with that of other similar services, you'll notice that it has become like quite affordable actually. For instance, the creator plan enables licensing for social media at the starting price of only 9.99 US dollars while the professional plan which allows you to use artlist music in client productions costs around 17 US dollars. They also recently launched a new product which is called Artlist Max and that includes all the editing assets and presets and this kind of stuff and that will cost about 39 US dollars per month. Overall I feel this is a significant reduction in cost compared to the past with the link below, you get like two months extra, so make sure you check out Artlist. Now one mistake that can really set you back when shooting your cinematic b-roll is failing to review and analyze your footage as you go along. It's like quite easy to get caught up in the moment and forget to check if you've captured the right amount of shots or if the footage is coming out the way you wanted it to be. But by taking a few moments to review and analyze your footage during the shoot, it can really save you a lot of trouble down the line 
and it can help you to catch any mistakes early on and make adjustments before it is too late. So make sure you take a breather every now and then and review your footage to ensure you're getting the shots you wanted. Now, when shooting cinematic video, it can be very easy to focus solely on the main subject or action and totally forget about the small details that can add a lot of depth and interest to your footage. These details can include things like close-ups or shots of hands, certain details on clothing or other subtle movements or expressions. By including those small details, you can create a more engaging and immersive viewing experience for your audience and they will also help to convey a certain level of emotion or mood or provide a sense of texture or richness to your footage. So don't forget to pay attention to the small details when you shoot your B-roll to make your footage a lot more impactful and memorable. The sun is setting right now. I'll be heading back to the hotel to look through my footage and then I have a couple more tricks for you guys. Okay, another mistake is overshooting. That really makes a headache while editing later on. And it can be a little bit tempting when you're shooting cinematic B-roll, but trust me, it can create a major headache when it comes time to edit. So it's very easy to get carried away and film every single thing that you see that comes in front of your lens, but this can really lead to a mountain of footage that is quite difficult to sort through and make sense of. Instead, I recommend to focus on capturing the shots you need for your project and avoid overshooting. This will not only save you time and energy during the actual editing process, but it will also help you to stay focused on the story you want to tell through your footage. So remember, shoot with purpose and avoid overshooting to make editing much smoother and a more enjoyable process. Okay. Another mistake that can really set you back when shooting cinematic b-roll is not having a shot list at all. A shot list is a crucial tool that helps you to plan out the shots you need for your project and ensures that you don't miss out on any important moments. Without a shot list you may find yourself like kind of aimlessly wandering around shooting and missing out on key shots that would otherwise elevate your footage. So take the time to do a little bit of prep work and create a shot list beforehand and refer to it often to make sure you're capturing everything you wanted and everything you need. Your future self will really thank you for that. Now to wrap things up, shooting cinematic b-roll can be a challenging task, but with the right techniques and preparation, you can avoid making very common mistakes. Remember to always plan your shots and have a clear idea of the story you want to tell. Be mindful of the sound quality. Don't forget to shoot more footage than you need without mindlessly overshooting, of course, and always check your camera right after you nail the shot. By avoiding those mistakes and incorporating these tips, you'll be on your way to create stunning cinematic B-roll. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, leave a like. And if you want to, we can hang out here on the channel in the future. All you have to do is subscribe and with that said, I wish you all the best for the next video and I'll see you guys later on.